Rolling in three, two. Hey, Eric Allen here from Fast Rescue Solutions. Wanted to reach out to everybody to go over a couple of changes that we're doing with the board. Mainly the lashing system on the board. A couple of the challenges that we had was that when we would package somebody face up and we had to take them vertical or even face down when we would take them vertical, the bottom lashing would come to a single point through the legs and it was uncomfortable. Uh, one of the other things that we wanted to really combat was that the bottom lashing and the top lashing, they're connected through the board, but they weren't actually connected together. So the way that we uh, have combated this, I've been working on it for about a year and a half now. I wanted to get a new system out there. When we look over here, the lashing on the bottom of the board now, instead of coming out at the midpoint, it comes out all the way at the bottom. When we put somebody in there, it creates more of a seat and it keeps this webbing a little wider. It's a lot more comfortable, especially if you're face up and you're going vertical on it. You can also see that up here, we've got uh, the lashing. We have rings now that actually are connecting the top lashing and the bottom lashing together. And that creates a true harness inside of the board. We look over here, when uh, we would do this top lashing, when we'd have a firefighter on here and their shoulders were about right at this section, face here, we would still have this 45 or so degree angle where if we had to take a firefighter down a set of stairs or down a ladder and uh, take them down head first, that firefighter would move forward on there. We combated that with training by once we were moving them onto the ladder or onto the stairs, we'd bring their bottle down onto the top of our shoulder, compress them to the board, and keep them from really sliding forward so much. If you look over here with the, the new lashing system, the lashing with their shoulders here gives them a, a real 90 degree angle coming down right off their shoulders. And that really stops them from moving very far forward at all. Definitely keeps them from sliding you know, forward on the board where it'd be uncomfortable for them. What it also does is when we tighten this system down, it pulls them straight down to the board instead of having that angle. Um, when we take them, we used to take them uh, up to a low profile to go around corners and confined space. The, the firefighter would move off the board a little bit, not come disconnected, but just have some space there. With this, it's like they are glued to the board, whether we have them vertical, horizontal, or down to that low profile. So those are some of the changes that we've done. We were always looking to make the system better and safer and more effective uh, for you know, saving first responders. This changeover, we wanna be able to retro it onto all the boards that we have out there. Unfortunately, we're just not at that point where we can just throw it out there to everybody. So we're gonna do it at our cost. That cost is gonna be around $200. We're trying to pull it down a little bit from there, but that's probably where it, exactly where we're gonna be at 200. Uh, if you guys wanna get some more information on this, please contact us at info at Fast Rescue Solutions. Uh, if you have any concerns or whatever, you know, please get in contact with us. Let us know your thoughts. Thanks so much. Stay safe, train hard.